This week marks exactly one month of Gunfight in Modern Warfare 2, and ever since its release, I've been comparing it to Modern Warfare 2019's Gunfight. For those of you that are new here, I basically only play Gunfight and I like to nerd out about it, so if you like it too, you're in the right place. Gunfight in Modern Warfare 2019 is by far my most played game mode, and I've been playing it for more than three and a half years, so to say that I was excited when they finally announced it for Modern Warfare 2 is a giant understatement. I made a video exactly one year ago discussing why Gunfight should be brought back in MW2 and what it would need to be a good game mode, so it's pretty cool to come full circle now and finally talk about the gunfight mode that we got. In this video, I want to break down and review the most notable differences and similarities between the two modes and kind of analyze where Infinity War did an awesome job, but also where they came up short. I do want to get this out of the way first though. In general, I think for about 99% of the community, Modern Warfare 2019's gunfight is simply better than MW2 gunfight, and I'll be honest up front, I also think that is the case. However, I do think that Modern Warfare 2's gunfight deserves a proper review since it is, in my opinion, definitely the second best gunfight mode, better than Cold War gunfight and easily better than Champion Hill. As I already said in previous videos, I'm very thankful for Modern Warfare 2 gunfight in the sense that it is actually true gunfight, you know? It's the actual bare bones 2v2 random loadout small map game mode that we all fell in love with. There's no meta abuse, no currency system, no perks or killstreaks, no health regen, a flag that spawns in the middle, sweet and simple just like it's supposed to be, so thank you to the devs for not trying to reinvent the wheel. So even though the modes are, in essence, completely the same then, there is still an enormous chasm between the two, and that's what I want to explore in this video. I'll be going pretty in-depth in this one, so sit back, grab some snacks, and let's get into it. I'll be dividing the video into the main topics that I want to cover. Everything will be timestamped, so feel free to skip around the video as we go. Let's start with map design. I already want to preface this segment by acknowledging that it's pretty unfair to compare the two modes in terms of maps since we only have four gunfight maps in MW2 so far. However, those four already give us a good indication of what makes a Modern Warfare 2 gunfight map and there's definitely some things to talk about. Firstly, like I've said a million times now, symmetry and small size are essential for a good gunfight map and thankfully the maps we got are almost completely symmetrical with only black side being the outlier here. Even in Modern Warfare 2019, not all maps were symmetrical, take Frost Hill and Cargo for example. The fact that they are not symmetrical didn't necessarily make them play so bad. Except Hill. F*** Hill. In terms of size then, I'd say I'm pretty happy with the map sizes we got. Some areas of some maps feel a little unnecessary, like the large grass fields on both sides in Exhibit, or the little spawn shacks and outer edges in Alley, but in general, all four of them are small and tight enough to where it keeps the pace of the match in check. I'm fairly confident in saying that the sizes are on par with 2019, given that the average time it takes to get from one end of the map to the other is pretty similar in both games. For me, where map design in Modern Warfare 2 takes the biggest hit is the layout in terms of cover, and how it affects the advantages of one side versus the opposite. The best example I can give here is on Exhibit, where both sides have their own interior museum part and their own outside grass area. The problem here lies in the fact that the grass area, with the stone wall in front, has a huge advantage over the museum interior on the opposite side of it. The player on the grass side can hold down a lot more angles from a lot more positions and the player on the inside has essentially no viable options to challenge that player. If you're inside, you can either take the chance on peeking either side of the middle art wall or you can climb on top of it, with all three of these options providing you with zero cover. Again, an insane head glitch on the other side. This means that taking the inside movement route is almost always a bad idea, unless you're very confident in hitting your shots or in case your opponent just isn't that good. Elements of this same problem can also be found on other maps, like Shipment, where if your opponent decides to cam the head glitch and spawn and you choose the outer flank option, your side of that gunfight has no decent cover aside from only this corner barrel. This is another automatic advantage for the guy camping in spawn. The solution for this problem is twofold. Firstly, they could provide more symmetry in terms of cover opportunities, for example, they could add like a shelf to this back wall and exhibit or maybe cut in half the box height here on shipment or they could provide more movement opportunities to outplay an enemy sitting on such a head glitch like it would be cool if for example they gave us access to a small balcony on exhibit or maybe they could have left to create verticality on shipment from modern warfare 2019 there are already some unique movement opportunities here and there but none of them are really viable or specific enough to give you an advantage over someone on a power position and none of them are really as special or as memorable as the ones we had on mw 2019 like like mantling the top crate on stack, or weaving between the pillars on bazaar, or mantling the crates on speedball. One aspect of map design where I do want to give credit to the devs though is lighting and visibility. As I mentioned in my previous video, some maps on Gunfight in MW 2019 and especially Cold War 2 had really bad lighting and were very dark in general, so it's nice to see that the maps in Modern Warfare 2 are clean, evenly lit, and don't have too much visual clutter. It's easy to see where your opponents are, and there are very few spots where one side has like a blatant advantage purely because of the light. 
lighting. Maybe the lower diagonal of alley, where one side is more in direct sunlight and easier to spot, but even that is not as big of a deal as some of the problems we had on MW2019, like the bushes on hill or the bright sun on docks. So far, I'd say that's it for map design. I'm definitely curious to see what other new gunfight maps will be added next, and honestly, I wouldn't even be that mad if they just brought back some classics like Speedball, Stack, or like Gulag Showers. That would be pretty awesome to see how those maps would play on this game. Next up then are the loadouts. I'm fairly content with the loadout so far. The balance between decently fast builds versus absolute oil tankers is shifty mostly to the former, which is definitely a good thing. This is especially important in Modern Warfare 2 because the game itself is of course slower than Modern Warfare 2019, where even the biggest abominations were somewhat usable. Overall variety could use some work in my opinion though, for how extensive the amount of sights, grips, stocks, max sizes there are in this game, the gunfight loadouts are pretty uninteresting and kind of all look the same. There are like a couple different Lockman AR builds and Tag V builds that are all really similar except for the fact that some of them are single fire and some are full auto, which I just can't seem to keep track of. <laughs> is this uh... I, I don't even know bro. Oh this is full auto. Wait, is it I, I don't know, I just keep that firing. Overall, I'm not that worried about the loadouts though, because even in Modern Warfare 2019, the loadouts were very simple in the beginning. Remember you had like, a shotgun and pistol combo, or a regular MP5 with just a red dot sight and a deagle. Gunfight blueprints were only added in Season 2 in Modern Warfare, and only then did we finally see more complex and unique loadouts, so I have faith that we might get a similar evolution in MW2. The loadouts are already being consistently updated, with the devs actually adding the new weapons like the Cronin Squall, and also removing the abundance of lasers after feedback from the community. Those lasers could have been removed a little bit more selectively though, I agree that there were too many of them, but they didn't have to just outright delete every single one of them in my opinion. Another aspect that is really cool to see now with OSP added is that there are more unique equipments on the map, like heartbeat sensors and snapshot grenades, which are a cool addition in my opinion to keep things fresh, and I really hope to see them return in the regular gunfight loadouts later on. I'm also curious to see whether they will add back the other specific game modes like snipers only or knives only, I think that would be pretty cool. The fact they already brought back OSP is a good sign in this regard, and it gives me hope that they will support gunfight further, but I'll come back to this. On to the most controversial aspect then, not only for Gunfight, but for Modern Warfare 2 as a whole, movement and pacing. This is where the wedge between Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 is driven to the absolute extreme, with multiple different issues creating basically the biggest flaw that Modern Warfare 2 has. There is no real skill gap. No matter how corny and MLG sweatlord they might sound, good movement is simply one of the most important facets of becoming a good player, together with good aim and good game sense. Overall, Modern Warfare 2's movement is very one-dimensional and stiff in comparison to Modern Warfare's movement that was so smooth and diversified. You can barely use movement to make a play in MW2. You can either sprint, jump, dive, or slide. Notice how I said or, because you can't combine any of them. While in 2019 you could slide and shoot and immediately jump or mantle, everything felt a lot more fluid and connected rather than slow and clunky. Look at these differences in time to get your gun up between sprinting and stuff, it's honestly just insane. The time it takes to fire your first bullet after jumping, mandling, sliding, diving, basically doing anything in MW2 is so slow that you would be better off doing nothing. And exactly that is what destroys Modern Warfare 2 gunfight from the bottom up. I literally predicted this exact problem in my analysis video right before the gunfight dropped, and I hate myself for being so accurate. I'm just concerned that the combination of slow weapons and slow movement will create a slow game mode, which gunfight isn't supposed to be. Slowing the weapons and animations down will only increase the amount of people camping, holding angles and just playing passively in general. This could definitely ruin the game mode for people like me who like to rush and play on offense, where every gunfight is an automatic loss if you are the one sprinting, jumping out of cover or just making the first move in general. People just realize that trying to make the first move by jump peeking, sliding through or diving past is simply not viable, so they instead choose to sit and wait and ADS and crouch walk, and because the movement is so bad, they will always have the upper hand by playing like that, and this drives the pacing of Modern Warfare 2 gunfight into the ground. Every match lasts about twice as long as it should and would on Modern Warfare 2019, and the game simply punishes you for making the first move. It pains me to say this, but that's basically how you get quote unquote good at Modern Warfare 2 gunfight, by having more patience than your opponent. It's funny to me how at the peak of 2019 gunfight, the highest skill based matchmaking games were also the fastest, most brain melting sweat lobbies I could imagine, whereas here, in Modern Warfare 2, the higher my skill based matchmaking, the more I win and the more opponents I 
Iron into with their level 500 plus diamond rank emblems, the slower and more boring my matches get, with every round being won by the player sitting on his safe little head glitch. This makes playing gunfight on MW2 so frustrating because the majority of matches that I lose are not because the opponent is objectively better, it's just that they had more patience or had better positioning. These types of players were also in MW 2019 of course, but there, the speed of the game allowed you to get around those playstyles. In MW2, you just can't, and to put it bluntly, if you want to win consistently, you just have to play like a rat. This whole point is only further enhanced by other problems like the stupidly fast time to kill, with some regular pistols being two shot kills. Oh. See, two shot kill, that's actually crazy for a pistol. Yeah, what? <laughs> The absurdly loud footsteps that can be even further exploited with EQ. For those of you who don't know, people on PC can basically mess with their computer's sound EQ settings, which allows them to boost the footstep audio even further. And let me tell you, if you watch a kill cam from those people, you almost can't even tell whether it's EQ or they're blatantly walling because they can literally track you based on your footsteps. It's really broken. And even other problems like the insane melee hit detection, where no matter how good your aim is up close, people can just panic melee and stick to you within a two meter vicinity. Insane how the Puncher just sticks to you, and then you can't do anything. What? The Bruno did the Oh! No! He was fully stunned! Sadly then, this is in my opinion the single biggest flaw with Modern Warfare 2 Gunfight, and it takes away from the fast-paced essence of the game mode. As briefly mentioned before, I do have some hope for Modern Warfare 2 Gunfight in regards to content. The mode has only been here for about a month, and we can already tell that the devs are actually, you know, tweaking things and actually working on it. This gives me faith that my prediction from a year ago when I said, The fact that it won't be there upon release probably means that Gunfight didn't get too much attention during the development process. And I worry then that MW2 Gunfight might end up like Cold War Gunfight, a underwhelming afterthought that didn't really live up to the awesome original won't come true, and that we will actually have a decent gunfight mode. The main thing that Modern Warfare 2 gunfight needs to thrive right now, I would say, is more good maps. Generally, I still think it's a big slap in the face to only get, realistically, two new maps, given that shipment was already brought back and Black Sight was just copy-pasted from the Warzone Gulag, and this for a game mode that the community had been begging for since launch, so I hope we can expect more maps soon. Luckily, they did confirm this on their Twitter. A few other things I'd like to see in MW2 gunfight are map voting, the return of some spin-off modes like Knives only, snipers only, and of course those tournaments would be awesome. Another thing that I've been begging for for forever now, which some of you might already see coming, is something to combat rage quitters. Just like in MW 2019, there are plenty of games where opponents just give up and leave after a couple rounds. It's so boring and just a waste of time. And with the slow playstyles in this game, winning a match 1v2 is almost impossible. I've talked about this quite a bit in the past now, and there are a few easy fixes like a cooldown timer or a great suggestion by a friend of me in the comments was to match the rage quitters against each other. Stuff like that would be fairly easily implemented and it would limit the amount of rage quitters, which is definitely something we need in my opinion. One last big fix that we really need then is better servers. Even in gunfight there are those weird moments where it feels like you have skill based damage or hit reg. I won't dive into that rabbit hole just yet, but I definitely won't deny that there is some wonky stuff going on. There are plenty of moments where I die instantly within the first millisecond of seeing my opponent, but then watching the kill cam and watching how on his POV he just peeks out, aims in, centers and hits his 3 or 4 shots, while from my POV it feels like I get one shot it. This issue makes gunfights feel like a game of rock paper scissors, where the feeling of winning starts to feel meaningless because you can't say for sure whether it was your skill that won the gunfight or whether the game was just throwing you a bone. Finally then, I'd say I do enjoy Modern Warfare 2 gunfight. It's a decent continuation of its predecessor and it has a lot of potential, and I'm honestly just happy that I get to play a new, fresh implementation of my favorite game mode. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments, what you like or don't like about it, or which changes you would like to see. Honestly, I'm pretty excited to see where they will take it, and I'm also relieved that no matter what happens, we will still have 2019 gunfight. On the way. Thank you guys for watching.